There are around three to 5,000 new cases, that is patients, of bile duct cancer in Germany each year. Within this group, there are three different kinds of tumors. They are either located within the liver, the so-called intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma, or outside of the liver, meaning extrahepatic, or in the area of the bile duct's bifurcation, the so-called Kletzkin tumors. Bile duct tumors often cannot be completely removed during surgery. Systematic palliative chemotherapy is the standard treatment in these cases. Patients also receive a stent to correct the narrowing of the bile duct that is caused by the tumor. Then we have another we also have another treatment option, or rather an armamentarium of options, meaning local therapy options. They are especially important to treat tumors that develop at the bifurcation of the bile duct, the so-called Klatskin tumors. They cause the duct to narrow. We are able to use local treatment options, for example, ablation procedures like radiofrequency ablation or photodynamic therapies to specifically destroy the tumor. We inject the patient with a so-called photosensitizer. Subsequently, this photosensitizer is activated within the bile duct using a fiber optic cable that is connected to a medical laser. This happens during an endoscopic examination. Professor Jörg Trojan and his team here at the University Hospital Frankfurt take part in the clinical trial of another treatment option. The photochemical internalization, PCI, is based on the photodynamic therapy. The principle is similar. We inject the patient with a photosensitizer two or three days before the patient comes to us for examination. This photosensitizer is special. It still works like a normal photosensitizer, but it also increases the rate at which foreign substances, cytostatic agents in this case, are transported into the tumor. This eventually causes the destruction of the tumor. Ideally, and we have also observed this in the case of many patients, this effect is also more extensive than with a mere photodynamic therapy. The physicians have observed very good outcomes for the patients who have been treated here during the first clinical trial. The patients have the patients have lived longer than we have expected with the standard treatment, that is, systemic chemotherapy and or stent placement. We have also seen long-term survivors, meaning patients who have survived two or more years in a good condition and who are currently in follow-up. In the end, this is very hopeful. But it's still an experimental treatment that has not yet been approved. It's important to note that a systemic treatment is the standard therapy for advanced, unresectable bile duct cancer. And this treatment consists of a therapy using gemcitabine and cisplatin. We administer it in addition to photochemical internalization, and we're going to compare both treatments in the randomized phase 2 study that is currently planned.